You always have that player that you talk about being the heart of the team, but Sarasu is truly the heart of our Ohio State team. That's a beautiful dig, and it came from Sarasu Morbitzer. I felt like a normal kid growing up, but I did have this eight inch scar that no one else had. That eight inch scar always reminded me where I came from. <laughs> My parents found out when I was only two days that I needed open heart surgery. All we see is, is just a beautiful little girl with her red hair, her blue eyes. All we're hearing is that our little girl has a she has no wall between her ventricles and that she had these three other problems with her heart. And it was at that point that I knew I had to focus in. The words that I'll never forget. He said, of all the cases that we see throughout the year, we see about eight of these cases, but there's only one that we have to operate on. This is that case. Everything about our lives changed at that moment. They told us we're gonna wait four months to have the surgery, but the fear for us was they're sending our new, us home with our newborn who, are they just sending us home with her and she may not make it during these four months? Our cardiologist, it was a spot on diagnosis from the beginning, but he also said that same day, she's two days old. He said, she has a great prognosis. She's gonna get through the surgery fantastically well, but I, I see no reason at all that she couldn't be a Division I college athlete. He got it right on the nose. She was meant to play college volleyball and she was meant to play with Scarlet and Gray on her. She grew up in this area. We all grew up major Buckeyes. I came to my first match probably when I was seven, eight years old, and I started coming to camps even. So I always dreamt of coming to Ohio State. We did ask her cardiologist once she started playing elite level club volleyball. We said, is this okay? You know, this isn't just normal rec league. This is intense. Is this okay? And he looked at us and he said, this is what we want. Her condition was there, but when she was on the court, we could sit back and relax because we could see how she was playing her high levels. Coaching Sarah Sue is a pleasure every single day, even starting with her as a little spiker and coming up through the program that way. You know, it's, I think, a dream come true for both sides. The moment she stepped on campus, she was a little sister to me. We play the same position, so we got to be really close and we spend a lot of time together. When I found out she had a heart condition, I was just kind of like in shock. I was like, how does she do this every day? I was starting my conditioning sessions in my freshman summer, and I was just unable to keep up with my teammates. And I just thought I was a freshman out of shape and just not acclimated yet. I was very short as a breath, tight chest. I just could not complete all the reps. I didn't want to be that girl that sat out of conditioning. She saw the cardiologist and then that's when he let us know the leakage with her valve had increased. We determined that she needed to have her pulmonary valve replaced. And she met indications for that, not only just because of her ability to exercise and compete at the level of Ohio State, but for other indicators, the size of her heart, the strength of her heart, really told us that it was time. My parents were asking a ton of questions and they were obviously so worried about me and about my journey here. And they didn't want my dream to be taken away before I even got here. We had to make this really tough decision. There really were two choices in our minds. One was open heart surgery, and the traditional way of going into the chest and into the heart and, and putting a new valve in place. Somewhat of a newer technique with a newer type valve would be to replace her valve in the cath lab. And the advantage of that would be that it would be a much less invasive procedure, and she would recover and could be back to exercise in a very short period of time. I was just kind of like sitting patiently, sitting quietly in the corner. I was like, why are we even talking about this? Like, this is happening now. 
She had always been so sure and confident of herself, but that felt like the moment that she was a grown up. She made that decision. I got this valve transcatheter, so not open heart surgery, but actually through my groin and transcatheter. She decided I want to do it because I'm tired of sitting out of sprints and that's not fair to my team. I mean, the impact that that had on me right then of what she was willing to do for her teammates, I think speaks volumes for who she is. She had the procedure done in Nationwide Children's. It's a unique valve um, and at the time, experimental valve. This was the only valve choice that actually fit her heart. It was a difficult journey. In the hospital, I had a longer recovery time than most of the patients that they've seen in the clinical trial. After the valve procedure, she was in a lot of pain. This is who she is. Everything she's ever done, she's come through. So I expected that, but we were scared. My brother has always been someone that I can just talk to and not think about volleyball or school or anything else. He's just always gonna make me laugh. I was in a lot of pain, but he FaceTimed my mom and he just wanted to talk to me and make me smile and try to think about something else other than the pain. Hearing her say that I'm special to her, that she is able to hold those memories, just knowing that my, even though it seemed like forever, my little time that I had with her growing up, that um, <sighs> she's gonna remember that for the rest of her life. And if she remembers that, then I'm gonna remember that too. <sighs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, my, my brother is my best friend. And he has been ever since we were little. <laughs> Having that relationship that we have, not as siblings, but as best friends, that's like dearest thing to my heart. It really is. It's been very strong throughout my whole journey. and. I'm not one to be show any weakness throughout it, obviously. <laughs> it's definitely hard at times knowing that I'm a little different than everybody. Everyone obviously loves and supports me, but it's definitely hard sometimes. My new valve that I had inserted, her name is Valerie. We gave her a name just to have some fun with it. We'll just come up to her and like be, we're running or we're running practice or anything like that. And we're like, how's Val doing? How's Sarah Sue doing? And then it's always, how's Val doing? Because we just want to check up on her and make sure that every part of her is doing well. The valve was inserted on December 17th. It was January 22nd when she played in her first match. Nice. I knew just her coming out in uniform for the first time as a Buckeye, I would tear up and cry. But for her to be coming out her first time as a Buckeye and just a month after having a valve inserted, it was emotional. Any patient like Sarah Sue, they're really heroes. I mean, think about what she was born with and where she is today, it's, it's incredible. I want to be a pediatric cardiologist when I'm older. I want to go to med school after my four years here to relate to families that are going through the same thing that I went through when I was little. I want to be able to relate to the kid that's scared of having that scar running down their chest. I think it's going to be the perfect career for me.